Donald Trump is not afraid to name the enemy radical Islam. He's even declaring war against this ideology and calling for new ways to weed out terrorists. Watch. Time is overdue to develop a new screening test for the threats we face today. I call it extreme vetting. We will have to temporarily suspend immigration from some of the most dangerous and volatile regions of the world that have a history of exporting terrorism. All right, so what does all this mean? Extreme vetting. Is it an immigration plan that could be a game changer? Will it resonate with Americans? Joining me right now, national security analyst Arash Ari Aramish and Dr. Zudi Jasser, the president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Good to have both of you here. Dr. Jasser, um, when he talks about extreme vetting, what's your reaction? Well, this is, Trish, what we've been calling for for years. Our Muslim reform movement has a simple two-page declaration that says this is how you tell the difference between Islamists, those who are part of the global Salafi jihadist movement that would be insurgents versus those that love Western freedom, secular democracy, equality of men and women. They reject the caliphate. There's easy vetting mechanisms. And to say that people have just a right, no matter what they believe, to come to America is basically a suicide pact to allow insurgents to come in. And to say that we can't vet for these ideas means that any interview process is not possible. When a polling company, Trish, can do a poll and say that 13 percent of the refugees believe in some support for ISIS, I'm sure then our vetting process can figure out the ideologies, theopolitical, that they may support that would render them a threat to our democracy versus those that would want to come here for political asylum and that we should welcome uh, based on their belief in freedom and liberty. Arash, extreme vetting? I mean, 11, I, I, I know 11. you feel differently, but Dr. Zudi Jasser is making a very good point here. You know, and Zuhdi is a devout Muslim. I'm not. But, and it's his job, and it's the job of Muslims within the faith to try to reform Islam and the Islamic world. There's a bloody civil war going on, not just between Shia and Sunni, the sects, but also between an Islam that wants to live with the world with peace and also radical Islamists who have a problem not only right. with so other Muslims, but also with the In other words, we want the, the good but, Islam to but, survive and the but, radicals to go away. And that's Zuhdi's And we don't want the radicals here. Job. However, 11 million visas were issued last year. Visitors to the United States contributed $108 million an hour, not a day, $108 million an hour to the U.S. economy. Visitors and tourism produced right, where are you going with this? Because I'll tell you what, jobs. I don't care so, about the $108 million Trish, or whatever it is. Trish. I care about everybody living peacefully in Trish. this country. Cutting me off is not going to just well, prevent finish me from your thought. giving you Where the you facts, going? so let me finish my thought. Here's the thing. You want to vet 11 million visitors, probably 3 million or 4 coming from Muslim countries. What kind of a questionnaire are you going to produce and design to ask questions? What if they just lie? So at uh, what okay, point I, are you going to have a cutoff line between a radical, conservative... I think it's a whole lot more than just a simple questionnaire. I mean, maybe I didn't hear him, Arash. You uh, no, said extreme vetting. One would have extreme to think... Extreme what does that mean? Tell me what extreme, extreme vetting means. extreme vetting, you're going to actually do mean? some intelligence gathering on people. We need more intelligence oh. gathering on all of these people that are coming from these countries and they're coming from communities that may be simply pathetic to radical Islam. I mean, and, Zudi, and, uh, you can take yeah. all the money you want. I'll tell you one thing. If you do not have a secure country, you do not have an economically prosperous country. Exactly. And families like ours came here because America meant was a place we could be free. It, it was it is an idea. We can't be suicidal and say that we're not going to do any vetting. We should vet against communists from China, against North Korea. I mean, any from any country. This isn't just about being Muslim Russians right now. The Russians are launching attacks from Iran into Syria. The Russian citizenry, if they're part of the Putin environment of that government, they should also be vetted against because they don't believe in our societal ideas. Theology. So it's not just about Muslims, but we cannot just sort of no, have step floodgates up, right? and you say know, that we, we can can't do a vet lot of against things. it. We've created you the are. iPhone. <laughs> we should have higher expectations, Arash, from our intel community, and I don't think that's asking for a whole lot. We absolutely have very high expectations. These are men and women from all different faiths, seculars, Muslims, Mormons, Jews, Christians, you name it.
people in the CIA, those officers who's, who fall and their names are not even mentioned, they fight for this country. So criticizing them is actually not Nobody's becoming of— Nobody's criticizing them. So We're first of all, we you don't think we can vet against if you the think, if you think, Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my point. If you think, if you think that someone who applies for a green card and comes here, the first thing that they do is, a, is an FBI background check. Zuhdi, you know that. There are family members of both of ours who came from overseas. The FBI but listen, does the vetting system process. is broken. They have to wait. The system is broken. I know it's not. The system is broken. Same when you can't. And this country, right into it's this one country. thing to have empty rhetoric. It's, not, it's another fact to actually offer solutions. Arash, the solution when you have the father, when you have the father of the Orlando shooter sitting behind and passing every security clearance when he supported the Taliban on YouTube, you realize that that ideology is not being filtered. Even when Clinton has a rally, Secret Service lets them in. Here's a guy Very supporting the Taliban. So when you have immigrants coming in, if they support the Taliban on Google or whatever it is, they should be vetted out and not allowed in this country. And look, that information is And you're making is a, you're making a beautiful point, and, and you're making a great point, and guess what? You want to vet Russians and Chinese spies and Russians? Well, today, Russia is basing bombers now in Iran, and Trump wants to bend That's over what backwards I said, yeah. for Putin, an autocrat. Uh, uh, he wants uh, to uh, bend uh, over uh, backwards I, I for an I autocrat Arash. named Putin. Arash, so since you don't want to vet anyone any more than we're currently doing, what is your plan to keep I want to vet safe? everybody. I just think empty rhetoric is not helpful. So come empty up with some ideas. Is what is your idea to vet people? The, oh, do you want to vet people? There is already a vetting system in place. 11 million visitors working. come here. It's not and ideological. How many people have committed crimes? It's, it's not hey, working. Hey, wait a minute. Um, Arash, 11 it's about, million the current vetting is about year, violent extremism. Criminals? The current vetting okay, is okay, only about violent know. extremism. Jasser, it's not about ideology. Uh, hang on for a second. Dr. Jasser, last word yeah. to you, and then we got more to cover. The current vetting is only about violent extremism, terrorism. It's not about Islamism. And that was the point of Mr. Trump's speech. We have to vet against uh, Salafi jihadism, which is a tangible, palpable ideology that we have the technology to vet against and yeah, ask them the right question. It's common sense. Thank you so much. And you Arash still haven't and told Dr. me Jasser, how. You still have haven't you told me New how. New polls out today show Hillary Clinton is <laughs> widening her lead over Donald Trump. But will his renewed focus on terrorism and the economy